Welcome to the Physical Science Connection. Today's topic, Measurements in Science, Part 3. Okay, so we have three mnemonic devices here. What do they all have in common, besides the fact that I love them all? Well, the first letter helps us to remember the units in the metric system, K, H, D, B, D, C, M. So what do they all really mean? Let's take a look. Here we have them all listed in order on the left. On the right we have the metric conversion ladder that shows the units in order from largest to smallest with the largest one at the top and the smallest one at the bottom. Moving up the ladder means that the decimal moves to the left. Moving down the ladder means that the decimal is going to move to the right. Are you ready? In part two of the measurement series we learned that the eraser was 2.5 centimeters. Let's say that I want to convert 2.5 centimeters to meters. On the ladder I would start at centi. How many places do I need to move up the ladder? Okay, so let's move the decimal that number of places to the left. What is your final answer? Ready for the next one? Now let's look at the graduated cylinder with the two stones. The volume is two milliliters. Why not two centimeters? Well, I want to convert to centiliters, so I will repeat the process on the ladder. I know where I am and I know where I need to go. So what is the final answer here? You guessed it. Now here's the triple beam balance again. I need to convert from grams to milligrams. Which way am I going to move the decimal? Did you say three places to the right? Then you're right. So the final answer is Go back and review any of the slides and practice converting. Thanks for watching.